Hey guys, it's Hinda and welcome to Cooking Fantasies. In today's video, we're going to be making these gorgeous and delicious soft baked chocolate cookies filled with chewy coconuts inspired from the famous Bounty chocolate bar. They are so delicious, so flavorful, soft, chewy, everything you want to have in a cookie and they're so easy to make. If you like soft and chewy cookies, chocolate and coconuts, you're going to love these treats. It's a very delicious combination. And before we get started, if you are new to the channel, we make a lot of delicious and easy recipes here. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get all the notifications and let's get baking. As always, I'm going to be leaving you down in the description box all the ingredients you're going to need in both the grams and the cups measurements. So let's start. We're going to start by mixing all the dry ingredients, all-purpose flour, icing sugar, salt, baking powder and cocoa powder. Of course, we are using unsweetened cocoa powder. Go for a good one Dutch processed if you have. The better the quality, the better chocolate flavor you're going to have in your cookies. Then use a fork or whisk to combine everything together. If your icing sugar or cocoa powder have some crumbs, then you might want to sift them before. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to the dry ones. The butter should be soft in room temperature and not totally melted. If it's still firm, you can microwave it for a few seconds. This way it's easier to work with. Add the egg, the milk and work everything together into a nice dough bowl. You can use your hands like I did or a mixer if you prefer to. So it doesn't really matter what you're using, what's important is that you shouldn't overwork it. Just enough to combine everything together, work it into a nice homogenic bowl of dough, then cover it with some plastic wrap and place it in the fridge for at least one hour. And while the dough is resting in the fridge, we're going to prepare the filling and it's very easy. It contains two ingredients, coconut and sweet condensed milk. Of course, I'm going to be providing the exact measurements in the recipe down in the description box. But if you like it more sticky and chewy, go ahead and add one more tablespoon of the sweet condensed milk. It's not going to change the recipe, it will only make it more sticky. The main thing is that it comes together and it doesn't crumble anymore. And since I'm baking 12 huge cookies, I'm going to be dividing the filling also into 12 portions. This is a good practice because then you know you have enough and even quantity of filling for the whole batch of cookies. And then place them in the fridge for a few minutes or just in room temperature if it's not too warm until we need them and we're gonna grab our cookie dough now. The dough has been chilling in the fridge, it's nice firm and it's easier to work with. What I like is to measure the dough, it's about 500 grams and then I just divide it into 12 dough balls. And of course you can just eyeball it by dividing the dough into two and then three and then each piece into two and then you end up with 12 cookies. And needless to say, you can make even a bigger batch by making smaller cookies. To fill the cookies, it's really easy. As you see in the video, you're just gonna have to work each bowl, add the filling, then close it, make sure it's closed well. The dough is really easy to work with. It does close easily. And then we're gonna place them on a baking tray that I have already lined with some parchment paper. And like the classic chocolate chip cookies, these cookies do not expand, they don't change the shape. So take your time to shape them and make them look as nice as you want them once baked. The oven must be preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 356 degrees Fahrenheit. They're gonna take 10 minutes to bake. And just before popping them in the oven, I'm gonna make sure that they are nice and they are almost the same shape so that they bake evenly. When the 10 minutes are up, take them out of the oven. At this point, they are still very soft, so try not to poke them. Just check the bottom, it's nice, firm, they come up. It means they are ready. So just place them on a cooling rack and wait for them to totally cool. Now that my cookies have cooled, I'm gonna start decorating them. I melted some milk chocolate in the microwave. 
and I'm going to dip just the upper side of the cookies in the chocolate you can also run your finger to stop the dripping on the side to have a nice kind of chocolate circle on the top and if the cookies are cold the chocolate is gonna sit faster of course this is optional and personal choice you can decorate your cookies however you want you can just diesel some chocolate and coconut it's up to you but I do recommend you to do it not only because they taste better but it also works kind of a seal it seals in all the flavors and the moist and they stay chewy and soft for the longest time they're not gonna dry out I can promise you plus the cookie itself is not too sweet so it just balances the whole thing and I honestly find them perfect with this chocolate coating on the top and then I'm gonna place them in the fridge for a few minutes for the chocolate to sit and finally I'm going to drizzle with the rest of the melted chocolate and add some coconut before the drizzle sets so that it sticks to the chocolate of course you can skip this and add the coconut directly on the co chocolate coating before it sets but I like the drizzle because the bounty chocolate bars have a kind of drizzle so why not as long as it's not too hot in your kitchen for the chocolate to melt, you can save the cookies in a cookie jar and they're gonna stay soft and chewy the longest you keep them. They're not going to dry out, I can promise you that. And the filling is just as chewy as the cookies themselves. It's really delicious, the chocolate, the coconuts, you're gonna love them. Don't forget to check the description box where I'm going to be leaving the exact amount of the ingredients you're going to need plus many other cookies recipe that you might want to try out. If you try out this recipe, please let me know how it turned out. I'm always happy to read from you. I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet to hit the little bell to get notified when the next recipe is up and see you soon in a new video. Happy baking!